Since life, okay. All right, my life started. So, I've been sitting on this motherfucking couch, my nigga, for about hours. What time is there now? That's the right time? I've been on the couch for about two, three hours, dude. It's about nine o'clock, dude. You're tripping. Nigga, I've been on that. I've been sitting. Nigga, remind y'all. I've been sitting here for hours, my nigga. When I tell y'all, I done read screenshots. I don't read comments. I don't, but listen, everybody's, everybody's focused on all the wrong shit. So if everybody want to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the little girl that got killed in Chicago and left in the refrigerator on my life. I done figured the whole situation out, my nigga. See, everybody, everybody watching that live video, everybody's paying attention to all the wrong shit. Meanwhile, I got my superstitious. Geechee voodoo ass reading between the motherfucking lines. I guarantee you, I promise you. Chicago, y'all better pay me. Cause I'm solving, I done solved the murder for y'all. I don't solve the whole situation for y'all. I just don't know the people. But y'all, when y'all find the people, I'm telling y'all exactly what happened. This is exactly what happened. Okay. Now, everybody sees the live video and everybody's like, oh, there's a girl on the bed sucking dick. For one, that's not a girl that's over in that left corner. That's that boy that's in that blue coat. So if y'all, y'all, everybody not paying attention. For one, y'all trying to put this little girl in too many paces at once. Y'all putting her in the bathroom. Y'all putting her on the bed, put sucking dick. And then y'all putting on, their, on the other side of the bed, choked out. Listen here. She wasn't on that bed, choked out. And she, she wasn't no, over there sucking no dick. And let me, let me tell you, she definitely was in that bathroom, dog. I'm about to tell y'all how it went down. Now, who y'all see in them glasses where it looks like somebody has an item in their mouth? That's that boy sitting off to that side, linked and slouched over. He got on a blue coat. Pay close attention. I, I, I don't watch that video. I swear to God, y'all don't watch the video like 20 times. I watch it to watch the glasses. I watch it again to watch the bitches and their face expressions and the movements. I watch it again to, to hear the backgrounds. I watch it again to hear conversations again. I watch it over and over and over because, nigga, bitches is fool as fuck, my nigga. And, and you just can't trust people that you be around. And reason why I'm so stuck on listening to and watching this video because I got a motherfucking sister that's going to be 18. I got a sister that's going to be 14. I kill one of these hoes out here when setting my little sister up. And jealousy's a motherfucker. This is what y'all don't understand. Jealousy, jealousy's a motherfucker. And the power of dick and pussy is a motherfucker. Now, let me tell you something. Now, that's not that little girl on that bed sucking no dick. She ain't in there sucking no dick. Because for one, think in y'all's head. It's a room full of motherfuckers. You got a bitch on live. You got a bitch conversating over here. You got a bitch conversating over there. Nobody's conversations are etchy sketchy as if they're watching somebody literally off in a corner of an open room sucking no dick. Come on now. So that right there, no, that girl's not over there sucking no dick. Fuck no. She wasn't a toe. So that y'all should already know, no, that, that wasn't accurate in her glasses. It just, the reflection just looks like that. Yes, that boy had something up to his mouth. I don't know if he was eating something or putting something on his lips, but that was that boy's hand like this, and you could see him put it, pull his hand down. It's the hand. Then you see him sitting next to the to the boy with the red jacket on. There's a picture of all three of them, all three of the niggas. And then y'all said, oh, it's the girl laid out on the bed, laid out, laid back. No, that's the boy. That's the friend, the other little nigga that's in the picture with them laid back. His jeans got the tears on it. Now, another thing that everybody's focused on. Everybody's focused on this girl being on live. How are you on live? On how y'all was looking for her, but y'all on live on her phone. That, that bitch that's on there with that burnt orange hair, that's Irene. That's not... What's the girl named Kanish Kanika? That's not the girl that's dead live. That's not her phone. The phone that that girl with the burnt burnt orange hair, the, the phone that she's on is Monique no Monina. Whatever. That she's on the best friend's phone. That's who's live that girl's on. Mean meantime between time the phone that the other girl is answering is her phone. That the girl with the burnt orange hair, that's her phone that she's answering, giving people the room. The phone that she's on live with is Monish, Monina's phone or whoever the fuck. Okay? So y'all follow me here. I don't know how long it's going to take, but follow me because I'm, I'm getting you, I'm getting y'all to the facts. That's who live that girl was on. So, 
And then everybody's focused on the jean jacket. Everybody's like, uh, y'all knew something was up. You got on her coat. That is not the same jean jacket. That's not the same jean coat. That girl, the coat, the bitch that's on the live video, her jean jacket. It got a lot more dark, dark, dark blue jean spots on it than, than the girl who's dead jean jacket. The girl who's dead jean jacket, her the tear mark on her jean, the little, you know how I got the little tears and shit? The tear mark on her jean was over here on this side of the coat. The tear mark on, on the other little bitch's coat that's on the live, the tear mark's right here, and the tear mark's down here, and there's a tear mark up here. That them mark, them tears ain't on that girl's, ain't on that girl's coat. Cause if you go back and you look at the best friend before they went up to the hotel room, it's the best friend, it's the girl that's dead, and it's the other friend that's making the other post, and it's the other girl. They all came together. The, it's four of them that all came together. And uh, Irene didn't come with them. Irene already had her butt ugly ass up in the room, which I don't understand. Irene butt ugly ass was already there. Now, the best friend and the girl that's dead and the other girls all came together because the best friend got a video with them all on the elevator and you see the girl that's dead and they're like, eh, she turned up, you know. You can perfectly clearly see her coat. It's a it's a smooth little light jean jacket and it don't have no dark, deep blue jean colors on her shit. It just got a couple of the tears. You can see that. And then you'll see. Now, now remind you. Now, remind, remember this when I say this. Now, the four girls that came together, which is the girl that's dead, the best friend, which is the Monina, whatever the fuck, bitch, the one everybody's blaming, and then it's the two other girls, the other friend, Winter, and everything. See, that's why I needed your phone, because I needed these names in order, my nigga. I gotta have the names. They all came together. Now, if you see, all three of the other girls, they all pretty, because I don't, I don't been on all they Facebooks. Now, everybody's like, y'all butt ugly, y'all bitches ugly, y'all was just hating on her, y'all was hating on her. Yeah, 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 sure enough, just wait a minute, though, wait a minute. All the girls that came together, the four girls that came together, out of all of them, three of them was cute. They had, I don't been on their Facebook, I've been lurking, y'all, I've been on it for hours. The girls was cute as fuck. They all cute, little cute, little young girls swagged out. It's only Monisa, the one that, you know, that you always got the little ghetto friend that got the nip ponytail or, you know, her outfit just a little bit down more than everybody else. You know, she's the only one in the crowd, you know, who is not as cute as all them. You feel me? But, you know, they all best friends. Who gives a fuck? You my best friend, bitch. I don't give a fuck. I got a best friend who ain't on my level. And that's my bitch. I don't give a fuck. But anyways, so the best friends like, okay. They, that's who all came together. So everybody's talking about this Irene girl. I bitch, you jealous and this and this and this and that. Y'all not realizing that in reality, Irene isn't the Kanika girl's friend. That's not her friend. She's a rich, she's just a mutual friend of the Monina girl. Hey though, know, one aspect that y'all don't nobody realize is how many teens did the police confiscate. That doesn't that matter. Place. I'm not to that point yet. So you're gonna ruin my fact. I'm not to that point. So anyway, so the friend, so what y'all, okay, see, you know, see, you fucking me up, bitch. You know, you, you know, I got ADHD. You can't talk to me when I'm trying to get shit together. So, you got it together, sister. Where was I at? She was talking about how that motherfucking, the, how that friend was butt ugly, nigga. How she was, she was, they were, she was just a I little bit cuter than the other one. No, you're saying that she was a little bit cuter than the other ones. So, boom, they, they going upstairs to the elevator. After that, they going upstairs. Oh, yeah, that's where I was at. Y'all blaming the Irene, bitch, but in reality, Irene is not the girl that's dead friend. She's just a mutual friend through the girl that's dead's best friend. Remind y'all, the girl's best friend worked at the hotel. Now, let me now hear how I put the facts in order. Now, the best friend worked at the hotel, got the little bitch Irene a hotel, got her a room for the low. Now, them niggas that was invited to the hotel. Now, remind you, Irene just a mutual friend. Now, the reason why the best by the girl that's dead was at the party because she knows that's her best friend's friend that's party that happened so they all go all going and kicking together because you know we all
everybody knows somebody that knows somebody everywhere. Just like Minnesota. Just period, point, point. So they all kicking together. So everybody's like, yeah, that bitch was on the live not giving a fuck about the bitch anyways. In reality, that wasn't her friend. So she really didn't give a fuck to show that bitch too much attention. And she's not on the girl that's dead live. So y'all keep saying like, oh, how y'all on her live but ain't showing her on her shit? That wasn't her live that she was on. She was on the girl's live that got on there and was like, oh, damn, I'm putting my face on there. And then who you talking to? And she's like, girl, don't worry about it. That's who she's mutual friends with. She was low balling and low key talking about that girl's motherfucking uh, phone signal. Not the girl that's dead signal. She's talking about the girl phone signal. So in reality, she don't even fuck with the bitch who helped her get the hotel room. She just used this bitch to get the plug on the room in reality. So who's to say that the niggas that was there is her company? So now, now this is what I came up with. I feel like, so on the video, if you listen closely at two, at two minutes and like, I want to say 55 seconds. You can hear the little girl, the little black girl next to her with the ponytail, with the janky swoop. She, she whispers to her and she says exactly this. Girl, they bogus as hell. They in there raping that girl. She gonna say, I know. She gonna say, I, no, she said, I told y'all. She said, I told y'all. Basically, like, them niggas some janky niggas. Bitches is being, bringing janky niggas around type shit. You feel me? Y'all not paying attention to the facts of really what's being said and what's going on. Now, I, the little girl that's dead, I don't think was never on the bed. I think that little girl was in that bathroom, probably fucked up, leaning over that sink on some trying to throw up shit or she probably was hot type shit or anything and them niggas can't probably hug because you know niggas this thirsty as fuck so I believe them little dusty ass thirsty ass niggas trying to get they motherfucking rocks off had they dusty ass hovering over that bathroom door meantime between time the best friend in there faking like she giving a fuck so she in there with her friend meantime between time these bitches is all in the, in the, in the main area of the hotel room all on live and shit so you know they paying the attention but they not really paying attention you know really the only person who really knows what really the fuck is going on is the best friend so i'm pretty sure them niggas hovering over the bathroom you know when niggas think bitches is off they square they 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 sneaking pussy grabs and niggas is sneaking little booty clutching grabs and niggas is trying to see what they can feel and what they can do to see how much your defense levels up and then they and, and instead of them you know, you know, you know, being up front, niggas is testing to see where you at. See if you're going to smack them away or see if you're going to be like, hey, hey, stop playing. Or niggas is trying to see exactly how much you're going to defend yourself. And baby girl probably ain't had too much defense of her. She probably slapped leaning over the thing. And that's in the video where we hear, stop, man, stop, quit messing with me. And then the best friend getting bothered because she, the girl getting irritated. So the best friend like, girl, enjoy yourself. Meanwhile, the best friend but ugly so i feel like the best friend liked it one of them niggas that was with one of them niggas who was was liking her best friend and because you can hear in the background dude like man you riding with me or what i feel like that's the hostile nigga that's the nigga we need to find because that was a nigga that was irritated because she about was moving that nigga around like man leave me alone i ain't he probably like oh are you drunk you tripping she's like no i'm not drunk like that like i'm fucked up like i'm leave me alone now i've realized that i'm fucked up i want to lay down and the nigga was bothered by that he like oh man i'm ready to go so he turned to his homeboy who probably was on some ready to fuck the butt ugly friend type shit and he like nigga let's ride out and he like shit i ain't get my hey come with me type shit so he probably telling him like so he probably telling this nigga like hey come with me type shit and the nigga like no we ain't bringing her with type shit you know like i'm not about to bring this bitch with me i'm not about to let you bring this bitch with us her friend ain't trying to come you know how niggas is or her friend ain't trying to come hell no nah, niggas you riding with me or what so the best friend so you can see now i don't read the other little girl post who was in the hotel she she like that's fucked up you was clearly drunk and we made sure you laid down why would your best friend come pick you up and bring you out the hotel room see now we blaming all the wrong people the but ugly bitch on live so this is how and then everybody like oh how you get your keys how she get your keys this is how the little girl get the key this is how they get her keys same way we all go out when i go out I don't have a purse. My cousin may not have a purse. Shit, we getting drunk. Hey, bitch, put my, put my keys in your purse. Put my keys in your pouch. You know, little shit. That's how my... So if you see um, when they going up the elevator, the little girl that's dead, she does not have a purse on her. She's jigging with just her phone and her keys. She don't have a purse on her. It's the friend. The best friend is the 
one with the purse, a pouch, and all types of shit. So she about told her best friend, like, bitch, we about to get turned up. We about to get drunk. I don't want to lose my phone, and I don't want to lose these keys. These are my mama's keys. whoop de whoop whoop put these in your purse. Like we do. Y'all not paying attention. We do this type of shit. So don't be like, oh, how y'all get her keys? Y'all knew y'all. She got her jacket on. She don't got on that girl's jacket. And that's how they end up with the keys. So she got, she knew she had her friend keys. Boom, boom, boom. Meantime, between time, she liked the little nigga. Now this is how, now this is when everything goes left. Old girl leaving and shit. The best friend, like, uh, the niggas is in the hall. Now the niggas don't went to the hallway. Now they hear it. So now they in the hallway discussing everybody else in the hotel room, minding their business. The vibe dead. Cause you know, you know, everybody be feeling awkward when there's little side ass shit going on. So of course it ain't turned up. So everybody's in there with awkward low vibes. Turned up on it. And everybody's like, oh, I heard somebody say, help me. That girl did not say help me. That's not what y'all hear. Y'all hear the music coming in and coming off because they was in a hotel room and they was on YouTube. The YouTube kept stopping and stopping and stopping. And it just so happened to play such a little tiny ass piece of the song that it just sounded like it said, help me, but that's not it. That is the song trying to play in. And that's why the girl was like, what the fuck? Because the song just came in out of nowhere because they was waiting on it to load. That's why they on the live and the study going dead and the vibes going dead because the YouTube wouldn't continue to play. See, see I'm helping y'all understand. I'm helping y'all to learn how to watch your facts before y'all open y'all's mouth. <clears throat> Meantime, between now, they all in there chilling. Now, the best friend definitely knows what her what happened with her friend. Let me tell y'all what happened, y'all. Let me put my ratchet bitch brain on. I'm the butt ugly friend. I'm sitting here with my best friend. My best friend, cute as fuck. My best friend, a bad bitch. These niggas like these. These niggas is feeling us. I like one of the boys. Uh, one of the boys, like, my best friend, my best friend fucked up, though. My best friend ain't feeling this nigga, but I'm feeling a friend. I want to go with this nigga. I want to fuck this nigga. So, meantime, between time, I don't really, I really don't want to go by myself and do that he went with my friend. So, I'm like, best friend, man, come on. I, I'm trying to encourage my best friend to get it together to sober it the fuck up. I, I don't, I don't want to think in my mind my best friend's that drunk because in my head, I'm thinking about dick. So, I'm like, best friend, you ain't that fucked up. Come on best friend let's go meantime between time best friend done laid down you done came and picked your best friend up and done brung her out here to the hallway now this is how i feel like it went went down everybody's still in the hotel room this is why nobody really understood what was going on after the best friend today like i don't know she, her best friend drug her out the room and, and when she returned she wasn't with her because this is what happened that little bitch was too thirsty to get her rocks off it was too many motherfuckers in that hotel room that little girl ran off brought her best friend out to the hallway for that other nigga satisfaction they all was on some finna leave type shit meantime between time she done ran off with the other dude and she like she done got her best friend out to the hallway for the other nigga this is what happened she done got her best friend out to the hallway for the other nigga meantime in motherfucking between time she done ducked off in a hotel she done ducked off in a hotel with somebody else meantime in between time she done ducked off in a hotel with the other best friend she done ducked off with the other nigga she once she done i probably got busted down for all we know by the ice machine or the vending machine you know how hotels have little ducks and cuts stairways anything she about left her best friend with that dude just to go get her satisfaction off with the other nigga off somewhere in the stairway or anything and she came back looking for her best friend like damn where the fuck they go where the fuck they go so now she looking for her best friend she can't find her best friend meantime between time dude who she done ran off as fuck he's done he done dipped off. So now while she's around this hotel looking for her motherfucking friend, she can't find her friend because the nigga she left her motherfucking friend with done went and fucked your friend and your friend was somewhere fighting back. And this nigga probably done accidentally choked that baby out and done choked that little girl to death. Fucked that little baby, got his rocks off, and didn't know what to do with that little girl and drug that little girl. She ain't give no keys or none of that. They already said the freezer was unoccupied. That's what they already done said. That little girl was off duty, so she didn't have no keys to the hotel. She didn't have access to the things that y'all are trying to say she had access to. That little nigga went off while they was off doing their thing. He went off and did what he did with that little girl. And that girl probably was like, uh-uh, you don't want some fighting back shit. He about choked her out and took her shit and ended up choking that little baby to death. And end up didn't know, got nervous, drugged that little girl off somewhere, probably sink that motherfucking refrigerator that was unoccupied, put her in there, 
and then turned it on, you feel me? So that she wouldn't stink or make a smell or something. Come on now, that little nigga turned on the fucking freezer that wasn't turned on for how long? Come on now. So while you run around here looking for your friend, this nigga done hurry up and put your friend in the freezer, my nigga, and done call this homie, and you not knowing because the homie done split up from you. He done called his homie like, hey, nigga, where you at, nigga? What up, nigga, where you at? He like, oh, nigga, where you at? You and Shorty done? He about telling his homie like, yeah, we done. Where you? Meet me at the door. They done met up at the car. Now these niggas gone. You come back and return to the hotel room. Oh, now, shut up. No, shut up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck all that, because this is the truth. Now, it don't get, it's hyphy. So while she looking for her friend, it's already turned the fuck up at the hotel. It's turned up. Now the police done came. So the police thinking it's a party because it's a bunch of kids in the midst of commotion. She done run back to the hotel room now. Police there and all types of shit now. She come back in the hotel room. Y'all come on. It's time to go. Now everybody's scattering, getting up. Now the girl makes a status. She's like, girl, you don't give a fuck about your best. She's like, shut up because when I told y'all to help me look for her, one nobody trying to help me look for her. So meantime, in between time, y'all, this is this is at this is at three something in the morning. This is at three something in the morning, y'all. This is when the police came and all that. This was at three something in the morning. The police came, so the girl was like, "Bitch, we didn't help you look for her because you came back on some joke, like you was joking or shit. We we didn't know to take you serious. You took your friend up out of here and you didn't come back with her. So everybody's wondering, like everybody knew what was going on. No, nobody know what's going on because all they know is that that bitch came and took her friend up out of there off that bed and ran her ass up out of there and she came and returned like. On her in her mind, she like so and so didn't return back to the room. They like, no, nah, bitch, you took her up out of here, bitch. Where she go? She like, girl, help me look for her. And they looking at her, bitch, like, what the fuck you mean, help you look for her? Girl, where the fuck her? And you know she she over eighteen now, so you know as friends, we all thinking to ourselves, girl, where her grown ass go? Where this grown ass bitch could be? That's how our minds is thinking because in reality, we our minds don't go to danger. Our our minds don't go to danger instantly. We thinking like we turning up, bitch, bitch. Where y'all bitches just leave out this room to? So nobody was taking her serious at that point. So that's where everybody don't understand. This is how that's how it all went the fuck down. So now everybody done came. Yeah. So every, so why they want to make it seem like she drug out the room and she just disappeared? No, that bitch drug her friend out the room for that nigga's satisfaction and then for her satisfaction. And when her and that nigga split up and she and when she came, she thought that they were gonna do what they do and they all was gonna beat back up and her and her friends gonna walk back up in that room together. But in reality, that nigga done went and did some dirty shit. And when she came back to link back with her friend, she didn't know where that friend was or that nigga went. And by that time, she done left this nigga because now she wondering where her friend went. And now this nigga done went and met his homie in the lot and they gone. Now the police don't pulled up because there's so many people by this time it's so many because everybody's like oh well what happened to the people that she was giving up giving the you know the room number two because by that time while they all getting their rocks off these people people are showing up so it's getting deep so motherfuckers are called the police so by the time everything done went down now it's a commotion so when everybody got to coming out the hotel and all this and this and this and that the best friends pump faking like she was behind me and I knew I had her with me and da 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 da. Motherfuckers like, well shit, we ain't seen her since you took her out the room. Everybody's not paying to the simple of the matters and the facts of the situation. I don't get no fuck. They better get that little bitch and they better get that little bitch and Ooh, lock that little, the, the best friend. Oh. Them, y'all not, them ain't the niggas that touched her. Oh, y'all oh, look, oh, everybody's oh, blaming oh, these niggas that they see in the reflection of that girl's oh, glasses, they were, they were but they not they understanding that the girl that's sitting on the bed back is face towards the door. So everything that's behind her is the hotel door in the bathroom. Everything that was in front of her was the windowsill in the other motherfucking bed sitting across from her. Them niggas was all sitting on the bed. It's more than them niggas that was in there. It was more. And then I just, y'all not, y'all too busy focusing on none of the niggas. I done found two other niggas other than the, the niggas that y'all see in the reflection that was in there. That was at the motherfucking party. Because now they talking about the bitch talking about the little bitch should have been taking dick and quit hollering about being raped so y'all focusing on all the wrong little niggas them little niggas was in that hotel room lame as hell sitting back because if you see her in the room i'm sorry y'all i got cotton mouth some more shit if y'all see the little niggas in the reflection of the guys and they sitting there the other nigga in the blue coat he leaning that's the one who y'all think was the girl sucking dick in reality that's the little nigga 
that's sitting there linked like this with the blue coat on with something on his uh with something on his lips and then he's sitting next to him is a is a big little nigga the medium built nigga with the coat on the red coat on and then next to him wasn't nobody next to him at first if y'all noticed it was a friend it was a boy that walked up but y'all y'all think they're girl jeans because our niggas is so confused these days these niggas is running around with jeans just as tight as ours that was a nigga with his thick ass thighs and them motherfucking tore up jeans everybody and y'all got them jackets confused because if y'all realize it's four bitches in that room that had on jean jackets chicago just on their jean jacket shit right now if you go through them little girls pictures you can see them in jean jackets i guess just chicago just on some jean jacket shit right now you feel me so no that girl in the live video does not have on a girl's dead jacket no them niggas that y'all see in the reflection of her glasses are not the same niggas that y'all hear in the background arguing that shit that y'all are hearing in the background is going on by the bathroom and by the door of the fucking hotel room all them people y'all seeing them reflections is just motherfuckers that sitting around bothered because the party ain't turned up you got niggas over there by the door trying to take somebody pussy then you got this little bitch with these beetle ass glasses on looking like a fly that caught a bleach flag and then you got the youtube ain't working then you got hater shit going on that's then what the fuck really went the, the fuck second. down then you got people showing up Period. <laughs> so, and whoever Destiny Brown is talking about, shut up, bitch. You can go suck your mama's dick and get up off my shit. Now, how about that, bitch? Go find you something to do, bitch. Now, anyways, who else want to get blocked? Because I'm speaking some real motherfucking shit. Now, that's what the fuck happened to that little ass girl. And everybody's wondering, like, so y'all didn't know that little girl was in the freezer for a whole day? Y'all got to understand, whoever been working there, whoever's been working there, know that that freezer was unoccupied. So, in, in, in your mind, who goes and checks on an unoccupied freezer at work? I wouldn't. It don't work. Anybody know we're opening up an unoccupied freezer? That shit stinks. So, I mean, anybody working there probably it sees it every day, ain't gonna think to their head like, oh, let me check on this freezer. It's unoccupied. For one, the freezer wasn't even supposed to be turned on. Then they're gonna turn the freezer on and some more shit. This is an unoccupied freezer. This lot, freezer man. does not have nothing to do with what goes on in the daily kitchen routines or nothing. It was an unoccupied freezer, which means that it is mistaken to be not checked on for a whole fucking day. Like, it's probably a few days. Like, if they wouldn't have checked, if they wouldn't have checked it when they checked it, she probably would have been in there longer than that. You feel me? Because it's an unoccupied fucking refrigerator. Yeah, probably. And then by the time then, that's the last place the little girl been. So the place them became an investigation. You feel me? Other than that, if they wouldn't have decided to go there first, they probably wouldn't be finding her to just now. So. I'm letting y'all, somebody just hopped on my shit and told me to start the story over. <laughs> you better go rewatch this motherfucker. Because, man, y'all, I just had to get to the bottom of this shit. Y'all just don't understand. I've been sitting here for hours missing out on smoke sessions and all because I've been so focused on trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm sorry. I believe that jealous ass friend, she, I, I don't believe she set her friend up or whatever, but I believe the nigga was like, hey, man, I get, because everybody talking about the 200 bucks. I know that the nigga, the nigga probably was like, hey, man, I'll give you 200. Go get your friend. Man, tell her to come out here, my nigga. She probably like, fuck. <laughs> Give me the two hundred dollars. I'll go get her. Like, but in her mind, she she just too she young. She thinking like it's just some quick hookup shit. She doesn't. You gonna give me two hundred dollars to go make my friend come out here? And she think like, oh, it's some best friend shit. You know, best friend breast then. You know, bitches feel like we best friend. We gonna do this together. We gonna ride together. You know, they got the best friend who get bust down together, who turn this together, who do that together. So she probably thinking in her head like, yeah. I'm going to get my best friend. So she go get her best friend, come out to the hallway with her best friend. Meanwhile, her friend still trying to be like slaggly junk. Like, man, what? So dude, like, come with me. We